Hello, hello, hello. So, uh, we are back for another one, as usual. Uh, I'm starting to feel like that's my beginning opening phrase for my videos. Um, as you can see, your boy got a cut. Uh, this is actually the third video that I'm making this week in particular. Um, finally got time off, so I'm trying to do whatever I can. But uh, anyway, as you can see here, we have a box has some uh, Russian writing on it, but the contents of the box is a new lip for the EK. Um, so let me explain a little bit about that. So as you can see here, um, my car currently has what I believe is the CTR rear lip. Um, when I originally bought the car, it had it on there. Uh, I wrapped it, all that good stuff to match. But um, the lip that I have in this box, I will go ahead and show you and then I will explain what it is and why it is important. I'll tell you what, dude packaged this thing up. So this new lip, as you can tell just by the difference in the pictures, this is the VTI lip. Um, I'm not sure what specific package it came on or whatever, but it hangs lower. And they're super rare and hard to come by at this point. Um, so the only thing is that it looks to be polyurethane and they usually have a coat on them that prevents you from being able to wrap. So I actually brought some, uh, a little piece of my vinyl that I had left to test it real quick. So I'm gonna clean it with alcohol and I'll see if it sticks. If not, I might have to use the technique of um, using Ajax soap with Scotch-Brite to scuff it and it gets that protective coating off and then we'll be able to wrap it. Um, the only other thing that's kind of janky is that I'm going to be doing it in two pieces instead of one to save some wrap because I still have enough to redo my bumpers and stuff if I felt like it. So I'm trying not to be wasteful, but it'll just have a seam in the middle. But anyway, let's get this cleaned up and see if uh, this wrap will stick because if it does, it'll save me half the trouble of this whole wrapping and install process. Now that I have it stuck on, I'm uh, I'm pulling this protective film off. Um, right now, I'm not using any heat, so that plays a big factor too. But uh, if it pulls off right now, as is, then that's a good indication that I will have to scuff it. So uh, let's see. All right, you see how that didn't come off easy at all didn't leave any residue on the back so in other words I should be good um, I know I'll put this on kind of janky but see I can pull it off again it sticks pretty good so we're in the clear on that I just have to be careful about how many times that I rework it so I will go ahead and film the process of me wrapping because whenever I did my whole car, uh, I was impatient and I didn't really want to take the time to do it. So I will do it for this. Uh, hopefully I brought enough wrap. I wasn't expecting it to be so wide. I knew it would be, but I didn't think it was going to be this crazy. But uh, I'm not sanding it, getting any imperfections out. I'm just going to clean it and I'm going to wrap it as is. Like I said, the only thing that sucks is it'll have a little seam in the middle, but I think it'll be okay. I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and get this process started. All 
right, so I got one half done. Uh, I had to stop filming. It was getting kind of hard to do. I accidentally cut this a little crooked and cut into it, but it'll be all right. So anyway, let me go ahead and do this other side, and then I'll show you all the final product. All right, sorry I didn't finish filming me doing it, but uh, here it is. Came out good. Um, got a little bit of trash on the ends, and this part I had to put like a band-aid on as you can see but that's all underneath so you won't see any of that stuff uh, and then there's like the seam I'd accidentally cut a little bit too far into this but it'll be alright you won't even see that shit when it's on the car so I don't care so anyway next I'll pick the camera up I'll be putting this thing on I'm gonna have to go pick up some hardware and stuff but that was way more aggravating than I remember it being and took way too much time. So I don't know if I'm gonna go do that today or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and load it up in the tent gen and when I get to it, I will get to it. So see y'all in a few. Alrighty, so we're here to install. Uh, so again, for reference, here's the old one. See, this is what the new one looks like. Hopefully I'll be able to get it on, but uh, We'll see. I'll just go ahead and put it on and show y'all after. All right, so we got the new one on. Uh, fitment's better with the exhaust. Um, I had a hard time because Jay's jack's broken and he was supposed to get a new one, but he didn't, but it's all good. Um, but you can definitely tell how much lower this one is. If you look at it from the side, it hangs a lot lower. It flows better with the body line and everything, so. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. So, I'm gonna have to go back. I had to kind of half-ass drill these in for now, but uh, whenever we can actually jack it up, I'll pull the wheel off and redo the areas where I drilled it for better fitment, so. With that being said, I'm tired, I'm dirty, and uh, I'm a little aggravated, so. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Um, it should be good for videos for a while, so. Appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I've been doing. Thank you.